in this final step, we're going to add at the end of where we finished before, we're going to add an if statement, checking to see if the right count is equal to the word length. If it is, we'll remove the answer text so they can't keep changing it, and we'll go to and stop on scene two. That ends it. You can test it right here. And we're testing it by putting some letters in here. I typically put all the vowels in first. I can't remember what I programmed it. I already used M, I'm allowing that. Program. I see it works fine with two R's. And it works and it takes you to U win. Something that you might wish to add. We have the reset code function here, which for my students, the assignment is you're going to have to add this. You're going to have to call the ability to reset it with a button either from the you win screen or after they lose. And the code would be function reset, you return void, and you'll have to have some way to call this. It will change the display out back to nothing. It'll take the movie clip back to frame one. It'll generate a new math random number, and this time they have to do it with 10 words. It will reset the in progress, it'll reset word length, it'll add the child answer text, and it will redisplay everything. And this is your reset code, which repeats a lot of the code that's in there. So if you wanted to make it so that they could play again, this is the code that you'd need. And that's it. That's the hangman game. If you're playing along in my class, at this point you have to Offer the option to restart, regardless if the user has won or lost. Make everything happen in one scene instead of two. I would do that by having a movie clip that appears for you win. Or you could actually add a you win frame to the, you, to the hangman one and go to that frame. Don't allow the user to reuse letters that they've already guessed. And don't allow the user to continue to guess after they've lost the game. Those are the, ch the programming changes for my homework assignment. There you go. That's it.